five on location. Hello, thanks so much for joining us tonight. I'm Diane Derby, live at the Colorado State Fair in Pueblo. Absolutely, it's a gorgeous night out here. Good evening, I'm Rob Cork. We first up at six, what once was thought to be science fiction, well, is now moving closer to our dinner plates. We're talking about lab-grown meat foods like chicken nuggets grown from animal cells. There are now more than 150 companies working on proteins now approved for sale as cell cultivated. News 5's Caroline Peters brings us more on the process and the potential impact to farmers across the U.S. In the past year, the Food and Drug Administration gave the green light to two companies, Upside Foods and Good Meat. They both have USDA clearance to sell in the United States, and many questions are swirling, so I went to ranchers to get their thoughts on the effects to the agriculture industry. Don't be goofy cows. Get I don't know why they're running today. We provide meat for the country. And the Balsics have been doing so for five generations. This is six. They've perfected producing beef. So when I asked Garrett about how the future could look. It doesn't even make sense to me why somebody would want to eat that. How do you even come to humans can think they can create meat better than God can? It's just not. Demand for meat is expected to double by 2050 according to the USDA. With that size of growth, it's not the competition that farmers like Garrett are worried about. When they're saying that that's healthier, I want to show you a label of beef. Lab-grown meat, also called cultivated or cell-based, is meat that is developed from animal cells and grown with the help of nutrients like amino acids in massive bioreactors in a production facility. The process eliminates the slaughter of animals, and it also reduces the amount of land and water needed for meat. And with studies from the National Institute of Health claiming that animal agriculture is a major producer of greenhouse gas emissions, Upside Foods, one of the two companies recently approved to sell lab-grown chicken, says their process will ease the burden on our planet. You don't have the same level of greenhouse gas emissions, and we have zero methane because animal cells do not produce methane. It's the industrial process that we are shortening by saying two weeks to grow meat versus two months or two years. And that's where the big uh, opportunity to decrease greenhouse gas emissions comes from, just a shorter period of production. But environmental researchers continue to study if the scaled up production of cell-based meat will leave its own footprint. If you say it's healthier for the planet, come out here and I'll give you a tour of what I'm doing to try and keep the planet healthy. Do you think that's kind of the general consensus amongst the ranching community in Colorado? Yes. The main problem we're going to have and we're already talking about is the unfair marketing practices that we feel is probably coming. Cultivated chicken is already on the menu at one San Francisco restaurant. Upside Foods says it plans to create 50,000 pounds of lab-grown meat each year. For farmers across Colorado that I talked to, Labeling will be vital in letting consumers choose. If they label it as a ribeye or a beef steak or, you know, chicken nuggets or whatever, that's just not true. It needs to be labeled as a, a cell cultured or a cell based product. And I think the, the public needs to know that. They need to know what they're buying. Um, but I feel like people need to know the process too. They need to know what was in that vat with those cells to help make it grow. The USDA's Food Safety and Inspection has gone through the process to review and approve labels for the cultivated chicken products and ensures that they're truthful and not misleading. And while lab -based chicken is the first product to be approved by the USDA for sale, beef is following closely behind. Are you worried that lab meat could be the future? No. I mean, we have the best product. I'm not a little bit concerned. So that's why I'm okay with competition. If I was worried that our product wasn't superior, then yeah, but I'm not. Our product is better. Right now, Singapore and the U.S. are the only countries to approve cell-based meat for consumer consumptions, but it will still be a few years before we see cultivated meat in grocery stores and up to 20 years before cell-based meat can replace a big portion of, if not all, of the traditional meat industry. For News 5, I'm Caroline Peters.